Hello everyone, my name is William and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best free video editors on the market today and probably also in the upcoming years. Now guys, I've done a lot of research, just look here. Look at all these different pages I've visited. These are all free video editors. It's been a tough journey. I even looked at some of these shitty uh, movie creators or video editors, whatever you call them, from the Windows Store. They're not worth it. I also checked if you could get Movie Maker, but of course it is not available anymore, so it's not included in this video. So yeah guys, I hope you're ready for this, this is going to be an awesome video. First of all, I'm going to be looking at how easy it is to like work with tracks and make video overlays and that sort of stuff. Second of all, I'm going to look at which kind of video effects there are, like green screen and filters. Thirdly, I'm going to look at audio effects like volume control or echo effects and stuff like that. As the fourth requirement, I'm going to look at some basic editing functionality, like if you can actually split clips on the timeline, and even if it's just a user-friendly application. And lastly, I'm going to look at some of the export options that you have, like, for an example, uh, the video format, uh, how fast the rendering time is, and stuff like that. And then I'm also going to be giving you an overall rating of this particular video editing software. So let's get started. All right, guys, so on a shared third place, we do have two video editors because I really couldn't choose. They're both really amazing video editors. So first of all, we have the video editor called Media Composer First, which is actually the one they use like in professional Hollywood movies and stuff like that. So as you can see, I've given it nine points for working with tracks like video overlays and stuff. I've given it 10 points for video effects, 9 points for audio effects, uh, only 4 points for basic video editing and the reason is that it's not very user friendly so if you're not used to video editing this might not be an ideal option for you. Um, then lastly 9 points for export options because it has all of the options that you ever need so that's all good and on average that is 7.6 and that's why it's on a shared third place with the video editor called OpenShot and OpenShot is uh, the exact opposite I'd say because um, OpenShot is very easy to use it's very user friendly and as you can see I've given it um, seven, pa 7 points in basic editing and it's that is actually because it is a little bit laggy, um, but it's still very user friendly. Uh, it got nine points in working with tracks, eight for video effects, three only for audio effects because it didn't have a lot of uh, audio effects, only like volume control. And then seven po uh, points, as I said, for basic editing and eight points for export options, uh, which is just great. It has all the options you could need um, for YouTube, for an example. So, and uh, seven points is what, is what it gets overall, and that's why it's on a shared third place with Media Composer first. All right, so next up is the second place, and this was a very tough decision for me because these two video editors that I have left, they were very close and they're both very good video editors. I had to go with one, and that is called HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express does everything you want, literally everything you want. As you can see, I've given it 10 points for working with tracks, 9 for video effects, 8 for audio effects, 8 for basic editing. Uh, and the reason why it doesn't get 10 in basic editing is because it's not as user friendly, uh, I would say, as number one, which is coming up just in a second. Export options gets 8 as well, and an overall score of 8.6. So I really recommend um, HitFilm Express. I actually use it for some of my own projects as well, so it's definitely recommended. All right, so lastly, on the number one spot, we do have the most amazing video editor that you might have ever seen. It's, uh, well, the official slideshow maker from the Windows Store. And I'm obviously kidding. It is not. It is DaVinci Resolve uh, 15. DaVinci Resolve 15 Beta is an amazing video editor, but you might be wondering, if it's a beta, how can it be so amazing? Well, 
it's because it is. And as you can see on the amount of points I've given it, then it gets 10 points for working with tracks, eight points for video effects, eight for audio effects, 10 for basic editing. And this is where it gets special because it is so intuitive to use this video editor. And lastly, I gave it nine points for export options, though I didn't give it 10 because I have had some few problems when exporting with it. Um, but, uh, but still, it gets an overall score of nine points. And that is why this video editor, DaVinci Resolve 15, is the best free video editing software. But yeah, guys, I think this is all. I do have a ton more video editors that I would love to show you. I could do it in like a top 10 free video editors if you want to see that. Uh, but yeah, I think this is it. If you enjoyed the video, then feel free to drop a like down below and also maybe even consider subscribing. I might do something like a top three free photo editors. Um, but I don't know. Uh, if you want to see that, then let me know. But uh, otherwise, then um, I hope to see you next time and uh, peace out.